warm summer days fade to fall, we've used our time to look back on where we've been, which has helped us give a sense of where we're headed. When our tent collapsed last spring beneath 15 feet of snow, we were devastated. But we've taken our losses and turned them into something positive. Isaac Rupert didn't have to build this tent frame for us, but by doing so, he has given us a gift. It is a gift far greater than the sum of its parts. He has given the four of us an opportunity to grow and experience life together on the edge of a great wilderness. We just brought our day bed here in a pickup truck and then took it the last, uh, I don't know, couple hundred yards by Honda and we got caught in a rainstorm. So here we are moving into the tent. I'm almost done putting the couch together. I got four more screws to go. Hopefully I'm not gonna strip every last one of them. This is the wrong one, damn it. Is there a crisis? I don't know where my drill bit is for these. I'm stripping the hell out of it. I'm gonna ruin this. I saw a friend of ours, Alex, do this once before. He lit this blowtorch and uh, heated up the side of my old wood stove that was warped and he bent it back. So we're gonna try to get this thing red hot and see if we can fix the warp on the door to the stove. Alright, so I don't think you'll be able to see on film that this is actually red hot, but I think it's as hot as it's going to get, so I'm going to go ahead and try and bend it back into place. Daniel's a good babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to do now? He just wants fish. He just wants our fish, that's it. He wants what? He came for fish. Oh, he's waiting for the fish. Yeah, wait till I'm here. <laughs> oh, I'm not here for the company. <laughs> everybody okay it's midweek now Reagan and Georgie and I are headed up to the camp to drop some supplies off we got some wood for a table um, some camping supplies, a big tank of water. What else do we have, Regan? Some tools, it's just stuff like that. So we're excited for the ride. It's a beautiful September afternoon. And the best part about today is the fact that Joanna is gonna be making sushi while we're gone. So when we come home, it's gonna be good.
Milo just left right now with the girls to bring something up to the tent because we're gonna be going camping this weekend and it's just easier if we have like a smaller load. Uh, right now I'm getting ready just to clean up, tidy up around the house. Then I need to go to the store so we can get some stuff for the weekend. And also tonight I'm going to be making sushi. We were supposed to have it last night but that didn't happen so I have stuff kind of ready to go so I'm gonna make some sushi and when he gets home he'll be really happy. It's a wrap. The trailer's unloaded and the camera battery is about to die. The kids are finally having fun, but they're complaining that they're hungry, so we're gonna take off. This is the end result. Mm -hmm. Are you full? I'm so freaking full right now. <clears throat> I can't stop eating. It's a problem. Don't feed me again until tomorrow. I wasn't planning to. Okay. Okay, so it's early afternoon right now. The geese are flying around like crazy. It's unbelievable. Um, rather than get all the little jobs that I need to get done done, I have chosen to procrastinate the entire morning, which is making me feel pretty bad. So now we've decided that we're gonna try and get the legs on the table and organize our tent a little better than what it is right now. Georgia, is it level? Yep. Show me. That one's supposed to be there, that one's supposed to be there, that one's supposed to be there. Good. <laughs> 